Hello everybody, my name is Gary Crony. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. This will actually be my first video, just a beginner's video. You know, we're three weeks into the year. I wanted to start at the beginning of 2021, but now it's time to actually start. So we're just gonna take a quick video, a quick breakdown of the Bloomberg terminal. Um, it's currently two in the morning, um, Eastern time. You know, I'm, I've been using this terminal for about two weeks now. I'm gonna give um, a little shortcuts, like what exactly have I been using? I'm gonna learn more. I might post an update video on it, but this is just for starters. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. There we are. So this is the beginning of the Bloomberg terminal. Um, if you just look up the search bar up here, it will take you to this. I'll show you a couple of things that are trending, examples, and you can look up anything. You can be very, very um, specific with each searches, or you could just look up anything, you know, Bitcoin price. It deals with everything in the finance world. And I like it because it moves in real time, which is very nice. 24 7, 365, your place to be. So this is just a pretty cool thing. Search if you just want to search anything up. So one thing I actually use is WEI, the World Equity Index. It just shows you a list of indexes. Here you have the Americas, you have the Dow Jones, S&P 500, the NASDAQ, um, you have the Euro indexes, and then other international indexes. I mainly look at the uh, NASDAQ because I'm usually trading tech companies, so I like to see how that's doing. S&P 500 because a lot of movers um, follow the S&P 500. Um, it just shows you a quick breakdown of the net change, the percent change, year to date, stuff like that. You can add stuff, take stuff out, little graph. So this one's pretty useful. This is probably at the top of my list. So another thing is um, this GP. So GP is like the line chart. Here I have an equity XL and it shows you exactly um, the layout. This is, I believe, one year, one day for each of the, um, the lines. So you can set it up to however you want, one day, one minute, one day, three minutes, you know. Pretty interesting. You could change the setup right here is the lines. You could do the little, little candlesticks if you like, change the colors on that. But I usually like the candlesticks, but this is actually pretty easier to read. Um, and it's very easy to spot support and resistance points. And it'll show you the previous close, which usually acts as a strong support or strong resistance, depending on how the stock opens up and moves. So that is GP. And if you don't do GP and you actually look up the stock ticker symbol, you can do it just like that, search it up. And then it'll actually give you a little layout here, what's going on with the price, the price change, um, any earnings if it has it. And then DES, that's the company description. If you have the actual stock looked up, you could type DES here and it'll have the securities description. And also, if you do FA financial analysis, just type that. Or you could just come look up the security itself and do financial analysis. So, and then you could type Click this and it'll get you right back to that graph. You see financial analysis on the company. So really, really interesting, honestly, DES, securities description. Um, this, this company is mainly for um, the e, in the EV market. The EV market has been very, very hot. This company offers hybrid and plug-in, hybrid electric, uh, drive solutions for vans, pickups, shuttle buses, delivery vehicles, strip jets, box trucks, and other vehicles. So they're mainly focused with customers in the United States. So another thing I found pretty interesting is SPLC. SPLC is supply chain analysis. So basically, what does this company work with? Who are their customers? Who are their suppliers? So these are 10 prime companies that um, XL Fleet, um, you know, works with. So I'm just gonna pick one right here. I like Nicola, I'm pretty familiar with Nicola. So when you click Nicola, 
I have Nicola pulled up now. It shows its suppliers here, and it also shows its customers. Let me just go back real quick. So please, let me do another one. But when you click it, it's pretty interesting because it shows like the revenue percentages, cost of goods sold, and stuff like that. So it's very, very useful. Once you, I'm, I'm brand new beginner. You know this terminal is brand new to me, so I'm learning as well. But this is just a couple of things I picked up. Another thing that's pretty cool is bio. Um, this is if you're trying to look people up. Let's just say, let's do an advanced search. Let's not do an advanced search. Let's look up you now the former president of the United States, just as an example. So if you looked up Donald Trump, click him. It should give a little bio about him. Here we go. We have the former president of the United States, his net worth $2.5 billion. Um, his Twitter here, which, you know, he doesn't have it no more. Um, 131 views. This is actually just five more from when I first looked it up. So four of them might have been from me. Um, and then some information about him and all some more information about him. And I like this because this is really recent. 205, 205, 205, that's literally the time right now. Um, another thing I find pretty useful, pretty interesting actually, is this Rich, the billionaire, the Bloomberg Billionaire Index. So we're actually gonna see, it shows 500 of the richest people. Yeah, 500. All billionaires, of course. And starting at the top, we have supposedly the world's richest man, Elon Musk, a net worth of $201 billion. And it looks like his net worth went down $1.2 billion the past day, surprisingly. You know, it looks like it's just been pumping up. But, you know, a nice time, nice chance to see it go down for a little bit. Um, this is actually a really interesting page. You know, you could look up. It's just like that bio page, but it shows um, some more information, other stuff. Pretty cool. Another thing I find pretty cool is Posh. Posh is like the rich person's um, Craigslist. No, they have all types of stuff on here. Somebody selling their Maserati, the Range Rover, 41, 42,000. You have $1,300 private bedroom, double closet available. If you just click it, shows, it says a little description on it and you can contact the person. You know, this is pretty interesting because you really have um, like some serious people that use this terminal. This terminal is not cheap. Um, the Bloomberg terminal, I believe it's about, subscription cost about $2,000 a month. So uh, I'm just gonna talk about what I think of it. Um, I, I love it, you know, it, it's so cool. Like, I, I just wanna learn more about it. And is it worth it? Definitely not. You know, for institutions, of course, since $2,000 is just a little peck of the type of money they deal with. But for retail traders, it's definitely not necessary, even if you're netting over a million dollars a year trading. It, it could be a pretty cool thing. It's definitely not necessary. It's more necessary for fixed income than, than it is for just securities, bonds and stuff like that, interest rates, markets. Um, yeah, so an alternative, an alternative to the Bloomberg, um, I would say is the S&P Capital IQ. It's very nice, the S&P Capital IQ. I'm not sure exactly how much uh, the cost is for that. I use that for school as well. Definitely a lot cheaper. Um, and it just gives such a nice breakdown on stocks if you're looking straight for um, financial information and news going on.
So yeah, that was just a quick breakdown of the Bloomberg terminal, what it looks like. You know, you have all different um, outlets and stuff like that. Some news about the vaccine, Joe Biden. But yeah, I might make a follow-up video. Um, I'm not too sure about it just yet. Um, stop sharing. There we go. Yeah, I might make another video um, once I learn about it more. But I'm going to be starting to post more on YouTube, um, specifically about, you know, finances, credit cards, student, um, being a college student, what's life like that, getting out of debt, you know, opening up 401ks and stuff like that. You know, just about finance, I want to open up, talk more about that. But thank you very much, guys, and we'll check in soon. Peace out.